Think back to your youth when you were first on the lookout for love. Did you go for brains? You're saying you've got to, you know, look at the whole person. Or did you go for beauty? Um, some highly scientific research has shown that men value looks much more than women do. Is that true, do you think, Jane? Um, I think it depends what phase you're at in your life. I mean, when I was young and I had hormones coursing around my body, it was all about lust. I mean, it was just, you know, chemistry. Do you fancy that person for whatever reason? But yeah, I did absolutely go for looks. You but know, did you tall, fancy them mainly because handsome, of the way they looked? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, did Denise, well, yes. Sorry, did you hey, fancy... <laughs> have a good <laughs> ear trumpet Did today. you fancy them mainly because of how they looked, Jane? I did. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I did. I did, Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but then as you get older and wiser, and particularly if you're looking for a life partner or somebody to have children with, then you look for different things. You look for humour, you look for intellect, you look for, you know, are they interesting, mm. etc. So it's then, then you're looking for a, a, a wider... But I wonder if it's say, women that do that <laughs> and men just keep <laughs> cracking on looking for the looks. I don't... Mm. You're the dating expert, what do you think? Oh, I don't know about dating expert, babes, but I could spot a red flag, I could say that for certain. <laughs> you know what, when I was younger, I just, there was a particular look that I went for, you know, dark skin, gold tooth. That was my, that was my kind of thing. Like, if you, my friends would be able to see a brother and be like, mm-mm, that's Judy right there. So I think, <laughs> like, that's what I always used to kind of gravitate to. And I, I was a plus-size girl even when I was younger. Like, when I was, like, I was like a size 14, which I don't see as plus-size. Oh, that's what I mean. But I used to get guys who'd be like, oh, you know, you, you, you're nice looking, but you're a bit big, or I don't usually go for a big Did girl. Like yeah, I, I had that. So I never really went for the pretty boys. I always went for the boys that were, like, quite unique, like, they held their own, they didn't have to speak up, they didn't have to be, like, the loud one in the party, but they had something charming about them. And I think I still like the charmingness, and I'm not all about the looks. So there was a chemistry. There was a chemistry. Yeah. It was a, and I need that kind of vibe. And I think even now, mm. I need that kind of vibe. But I look at things more like, are they emotionally stable? You know, are they emotionally available? And I do like a certain voice, I can't lie. And I do like You beards. like posh? Well, I just... I just I, do you I, like posh boys? She does. No, you know what it is? It's a real turn-on for me if I can have a conversation with a brother and I can hear a word that I don't know what it means, but I'm writing it down <laughs> and I'm like, OK, boo-boo. Like, well, in... Just, in, in I've been learning from Yeah, him. he's got a good <clears throat> vocabulary, or I can learn from him. I feel like I can grow with that person. So now it's not You're just You're looking a for a daddy. Well, I'll call you daddy. <laughs> don't, <laughs> but you now... you, don't, don't you think when you watch Love Island, though, you see the difference? You know when they do that choosing bit on Love Island? Yeah, that yeah. choosing... There's, there's yeah. always one girl that they all go yeah. for yeah. initially. But yeah. the girls tend to have a bit more of a kind of a disparate yeah. uh, Which, choice. I suppose kind of feeds into the whole body stories thing, doesn't it? And, and we're mm. saying to everyone, well, just be who you are, you know, don't be fake, be mm -hmm. authentic. But mm -hmm. you can see why particularly young women mm -hmm. nowadays think, well, men want a certain thing, and if I can well, make myself well, that thing... Well, I'll tell you something. Then... I was travelling back from Sad. Ibiza a couple of years ago with, with um, our lovely um, Jenny Powell. And there was these young um, guys who sort of gravitated to, to Jenny, as men tend to do. But they were all half her age. And they all said, you know, you're one of the most beautiful women we've ever seen. You're so natural and so gorgeous. They said, we've just come back from a few days in Ibiza and every single girl has got same. this, the, you know, they're, they're, they're all plumped up. They've got far too much makeup on. We mm -hmm. looked at their Instagram and they're all completely different. And so therefore, really, yeah, that's not is what Jenny they're is looking a for. Oh, she is, a, she is a stunner, but so are these gorgeous girls that you see, they're absolutely beautiful. And as I say, we should just be getting them yeah. to embrace. But I was completely and utterly superficial when I was, you know, growing up. That's why now Whereas that I'm now... an old sage, everyone should listen <laughs> to my words of wisdom. <laughs> Do you know what my producer is saying in my Go ear? On, tell us. Amber, Amber, which means shut off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all I can say is I couldn't agree more. Thanks, Matty.